the next question is from AI Tripoli 2011. In this question, in statement 1, it is given that A equals to set of x, y, where x, y belongs to R. Okay, and uh, the relation is given that y minus x is integer. Okay, y minus x is integer. It's an equivalence relation. So we have to find that A is equivalence relation or not. So for equivalence relation, first we'll check that A is reflexive or not. So Okay, so first we will find the property of A if it is reflexive, of re reflexive or not. So if it is reflexive function, then X it should be integer. Okay. So we know that x minus x is equal to 0 and 0 is an integer number. Okay, so A is a reflexive and uh, second we will find that A is symmetric or not. So if A is symmetric that, then it, it, it must satisfy x r y and y r x. Okay. So if x minus y is integer, then y minus x is also an integer. Okay, so it also satisfy the symmetric condition. The next is transitive. We have to find that whether A is transitive or not. Okay, so if if A satisfies the trans uh, if A satisfies the transitive property, then if X R Y is a relation and Y R Z is a relation then x r z also should also should satisfy the relation okay so if x minus y is an integer and uh, y minus z is in, is also an integer then integer plus integer that is x minus y plus y minus z is also a also an integer Okay, so if this is an integer, then x minus z is integer number. Okay, if this is integer number, then it satisfy it it satisfy x relation z. Okay, so it also satisfy the transitive property. Okay, therefore a is equivalence okay a is equivalence now we have to find the b is equivalence or not so b is b is given by where x is equal to alpha y and alpha is a rational number okay so so a uh, first first property that it should satisfy to be an equivalence relation that is 
refractive okay so to find uh, p is refractive or not p so alpha is 1 okay from this if alpha equals to 1 then it is only possible for one value of alpha suppose if alpha is 1 by 2 then x is equal to 1 by 2 x okay and 1 is not equal to 1 by 2 okay so p does not uh, satisfy the refractive property if it, it is not satisfying the ref refractive property then b is not an equivalent set so statement 1 is true and statement true statement 2 is false therefore option number 2 is correct